Oh! Hello. Let's start with the simpler one. The fastest regen possible. So allow me to introduce my special guest. He has the maximum stamina pool. Of 192. Now for context the base regen rate is 45 per second. Time to check out all the stamina boosting sources. Before we combine them all together. The Chloranthi ring provides a flat 20 regen. A grass crest shield gives plus 10. You can even stack two. Mask of the Child gives plus 10 too. Finally we have the body buffs. Power within gives a mighty 30 a second. But one green blossom gives a whopping 40 regen. Time to stack them together. Here we go. Oh, that's 135 per second. That means you can regen the max stamina in just 1.42 seconds. Wow. So what's the lowest stamina possible? That's easy. It's me. 14 videos in a year. Terrible. So let's cover all the sources first, before we combine them. Toxic reduces regen by a flat 15. Simple. A little trickier is encumberment. Being over 50% equip load, reduces regen by 20%. But being over 100% gives minus 30% regeneration. Now for the most interesting one. Armor penalties. Many armor pieces reduce regen by a small amount. So you can have two players in the same encumbrance tier. But they will regen at different rates. Here is a list of all the armor. That gives a minus one penalty per piece worn. It is pretty much everything that isn't cloth. The two stamina penalty also exists. But only on these 8 chest pieces. This makes the maximum possible armor penalty. 5. Finally we have blocking and ladders. Each one reduces stamina gain by 80%. But everything so far is already known by the wikis. But luckily for me. Time is convoluted. So I'm going forward in time to read your comments. In before you forgot about this old man. Let's roll. Did you test the tree lizard's poison? Dung pies reduce stamina. But the lizard's poison is stronger than that. So it might reduce the regen. So after comparing it to base regen multiple times, they are the same. Maybe the stronger toxics drain more stamina? Test the strongest toxic in the game you turbo casual. Hum. After several precise measurements, both are equal. Where is the miracle build old man? Ah. Here it comes now. Oh, that will be a million Patreon bucks please.
You completely miss tranquil walk of peace. Disliked. Discommented. And dissubscribed. This spell simply acts as if you had over 100% load. The real question is... What about the Stone Knight's Walk of Peace? Also, you are very handsome, old man. And I want you to be my grandpa and older man should totally give you a bigger allowance. I agree. But the Stone Knight version is exactly the same. Makes you slow walk even at zero. I also tested these spells with already being at 100%. Sadly there isn't any secret weight tears. It's all the same. How about the swan? It makes you slow walk so perhaps it changes stamina use. Very smart. Let's test both standing still and walking around. And compared to the base regen. Oh. It's the same regardless. You forgot I in flesh you dingus. What about the hobble shield buff? Oi. I asked the question first. How have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy Seals? Allow me to save us all some time. No. But that's enough theory. Let's finally see the slowest possible. First we get that weight. Pick anything that gives a minus 5 penalty. Then it's toxic time. Finally, get on that ladder. And that's it. Hmm. I suppose. We have time for some more useless data. This is the formula on how it all combines together. So that's 45. Minus 15. Minus 5. Then the 30% weight penalty. Followed by the 80% from the ladder equals. Which makes it 3.5 per second. So it would take 54 seconds to fill the max bar. But this is only the slowest for Dark Souls 1. There is a trick. Exclusive to the remaster. I'm off to the true useless data. See here.